My name is Justin Pinon, and I'm the mental assassin. In my mentalism journey, I have met awesome people with awesome abilities using their awesome minds. It's time to learn their story. From my mind to yours, this is Mind Over Matter. Welcome to Mind Over Matter. Once again, I'm Justin Pinon, the mental assassin. And right now, we're going to interview someone interesting because he's one of my great friends. And uh, he knows about uh, tarot reading and intuition. And ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the owner of Mysterium Philippines, Robert Rubin. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to see you. Hi, bro. So, Robert, how are you doing? Doing great. How about you, man? Very, very great. So, thank you for being here, Robert. Thank oh, you for accepting honor. my invitation. And you know what? Um, I've been really, uh, really interested in tarot reading since mm-hmm. I was a kid because uh, my family is a fan of the the spiritualism, occultism, and tarot reading. Mm-hmm. And uh, really, really nice to meet someone who is expert in that area. So, can you tell us more about tarot reading? Well, basically, tarot reading is a very intuitive form of guidance in which an individual comes to you for a session and they're going to ask important things about their life, okay. career, love life, you know, what's going on in their life. But the quality of the reading lies in the person reading the cards. Okay. Because in Mysterium Philippines, we've made a standard that our readings are meant to empower, not to condemn the clients. Yeah. So if you come to me for a reading, I'm not going to tell you something is set in stone. Okay, because a real reader will not do that. Yeah. Instead, I will show you what your options are. I will show you where you were, where you are, and where you could be going. Okay. And will guide you into a reality that you want to happen to you. Wow. So, example, we say, hey, I'm planning to, example, run for mayor next year. I could look into the card and see how that looks. I won't say, pare, you're going to lose. No, <laughs> I'll just say, if you're going to win, I'll say, this is what you can do. Okay. If you're not, if the odds are against you, I can recommend maybe you need to work more on this or decide something else or plan it properly, look for the right people. But I'll never tell you something is impossible in a reading. Wow. So, it's more of a guidance. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's why they seek for your advice. Exactly. Can we call it? advice it's advice and consultation it's okay. what i like but more importantly it's empowerment yeah so i'm in also interested in how you became a tarot reader well that's a very interesting story many many years ago i used to live in the san francisco bay area okay. i was probably around 14 at the time i'm 34 now and um i attended this one kind of like in one of the bookstores there called the psychic eye bookshop I was a branch back in the 90s of occult bookstores. Okay. When I entered there, there was this like carnival of sorts of these different people doing different sales and stuff. Like yeah. you know, something like that. And then when I was there, I saw a man and he was reading the cards. And I approached him and said, sir, uh, are those the tarot cards? So I used the tarot, tarot, yeah. tarot cards. He said, you mean tarot? I said, oh, <laughs> sorry, sir. Tarot cards. Said, yes, they are. Why? And I said, well, can you teach me how to read the cards? And he gave me a funny look. He opened something from under his table. I couldn't remember what it was. And he pulled out a deck. And he handed it to me. And I, but I was 14 at the time. When you're 14, you don't have any money. So I said, hey, sir, I'd love to, but I don't have any cash. He said, oh, no, no, that's for you. Wow. You can have it. I was like, wow, okay, now what do I do? And he said, ah, that's your journey. Never saw him again. And that's how it started 20 years ago. So ever since then, I've just been practicing, reading. And now I'm very strong when it comes to the education of helping people become tarot readers through the Mysterium Tarot Association. Uh, in our six-week-long certification course, people can learn all the tricks and trades that they need to become professional tarot consultants. So tell us more about Mysterium Philippines. Mysterium Philippines is a vision. Okay, It's a vision of a place where people can learn authentic practices of the intuitive and the esoteric yeah. from qualified instructors for affordable rates. Wow. So if you want to go somewhere and you want to learn energy healing like Reiki, you want to learn how to read the tarot professionally, you want to learn how to develop your intuition, all of these courses are available in a controlled, safe environment for very reasonable prices. So how many uh, members do you have? in? We're probably pushing 300 graduates already. You told us earlier that you you received a gift from... uh... Uh, from San Francisco, mm-hmm. right? So do you still have it? No, I no. lost that deck a long time ago. I mean, I traveled with me halfway around the world. And, you know, I remember what deck it was, but that deck itself is gone. Really? I and think I gave it to some girl I had a crush. <laughs> <laughs> Intuition, I read your book, mm-hmm. Intuitive uh, Within. And uh, thank you for giving me a copy because it changed my life, actually. So. Because it, it changed my perspective in life. And uh, you gave me that book right place and at the right time because mm-hmm. uh, I was um, in the middle of decision making that mm-hmm. moment so after reading your book 
uh, it gave me a different perspective. Mm-hmm. So tell us more about Intuitive Within. Oh, the Intuitive Within, it's right here, <laughs> uh, is basically a handbook of you rediscovering what is true and what is important to you. Okay. Okay. I mean, so many people in this world work nine to five jobs that they don't love. So many people in this world have dreams that they're not following. Okay. The purpose of this book is to reconnect you with your intuitive within. What is true to you? I mean, in, in other words, if you are an artist, if you want to be an artist deep within you, but you're not doing art because of your job, then your intuitive within is the artist. You are not your job. Or let's say you're an activist for LGBT rights, but you're in a town where it's very close-minded. <laughs> yeah. Truth within you is still being that LGBT activist. And that is your intuitive within. And the point of this book is to not only reacquaint you with that, but allow you to bring it out into this world so you can do it more. One reason I chose you as a reviewer for the book was because it takes a lot of guts to leave a 9-to-5 job to perform mentalism all the time. But if it's your truth, it's what you love, I mean, that's like, wow! And you do it in a legendary level. So I said, hey, this guy's a walking example of what the book is about. So I asked you to do that. And you will notice a different light in the person when they're doing what is intuitively true to them. They're living. They're inspiring. They're not just existing. And the book is all about bringing focus back to that you know a person's life for you what is intuition i'm sure a lot of people are asking is it is it magical powers is it fortune telling well what i like to say about intuition is it is the side of you that receives information that does not conform to logic or rationality good example how do you know when you love someone you just know it. you just know right yeah. but where's the evidence yeah where's the proof where's the data well but it's true to you. You'll die for the person if you love them. Yeah. It's the same thing. Other things is, how do you know you, you're a mentalist? How do you know this is what you want to connect to for the rest of your life? I just knew it. You just knew it. Yeah. Was there any documents? Did you take a yeah. test? Did your blood say that you have the makings <laughs> of a mentalist? No. And this is what I'm trying to inculcate into people about the idea of intuition. There are other things that come into your life, other messages, information, data, science, that are outside the realm of logic, but are just equally true to you. That's intuition. And being able to listen to that is developing your intuition. Great. So also, if uh, you don't know what to do for, in your life, mm-hmm. just by reading your book, you have a good idea. Answer? You really have a good idea. And if uh, you really still can't figure it out, I'd recommend have a tarot session with yeah. you. <laughs> so how can we uh, contact you? Yeah, you can hit us up 0916-551-1824. Or you can visit our official website, uh, mysteriumphilippines.org. Or if you want to co- purchase a copy of the book, you can go to www.intuitivewithin.com or facebook.com slash intuitivewithin. Um, is it uh, called fortune telling? Is it also called fortune telling? When not, you do tarot reading? I prefer not. I prefer it to be called, called tarot consultation. Because when you think of the word fortune teller, what comes to mind? Some lady with a turban and a crystal mm-hmm. ball and one eye. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, in, the way Mysterium is trying to promulgate ta- tarot readings is as a professional service that can help people get guidance in their lives. So we prefer to call it tarot readings or consultations. And also, I'm also uh, interested in this question because I use power of suggestion. Mm -hmm. So when you follow your intuition, how are you sure if it's genuine intuition or suggestion that you got from from the outside world? If it rings true to you, if it feels true to you, then it's not just suggestion. Because somebody can suggest to me right now to buy a kilo of shabu. If it doesn't ring true to me, I'm not going to do it. Okay, But if somebody says, you have to help this poor man on the street, all right, and it rings true to me, Intuitively, I resonate with that message. If uh, I'm interested in mm-hmm. in learning tarot reading, how am I going to start? I would highly recommend you in self marketing here, but enroll into the Mysterium Philippines Intro to Tarot Certification course. It is a six week long intensive program trained under me to give you the fundamentals of tarot reading, not just how to read, but how to do it professionally, yes. how to earn from it. Now, any other program that claims to teach tarot in one day. I would say those are very much lacking because the tarot deck is a very, very big thing. There's so much to learn about it. So if to learn it in just one day, talagang bitin yun. Yeah. But the program is six weeks of intensive practice and study, which gives you the skills you need to become professional and competent tarot readers. And we are the only institution in the Philippines that does that. We're even accredited by Tarosophy Tarot Association International. So we really have a lot of prestige with this program. Great. And I have lots of friends who graduated from your class. Mm-hmm. And they're really professional. They earn a lot in tarot mm-hmm. reading. And of course, they don't 
piss people off. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> so uh, you know that you're on the right track. So, and also thank you for being here, uh-huh. Robert. And uh, I'm sure you're very busy and you took time in going here at Burger Company for our uh, show. And um, do you have a message for, for, if, for example, they're having troubles right now? How can they listen to their intuition? Just remember, if it's true to you, it's worth following. Right. If it's true to you, it's worth following. And uh, I remember this one moment. Mm-hmm. You, you, you showed two cards mm-hmm. and you asked me to just use my intuition. What's on the, the card? And uh, I'm a mentalist. I know all the tricks of the trade in mentalism. And I cannot even explain how you were able to make me say those things. Like I, I knew, I don't know what it was. It was, uh, it was face down. And you just asked me, what do you think is that card? And I and I just explained what I saw in my mind. And I saw, and after you uh, you showed it to me, I was dumbfounded because it was exactly the same. So that was the first time I experienced like mind reading from from other people. So thank you for giving me that experience. Definitely so, won't be the last. <laughs> yeah. So and I'm really excited to join your class in the future. Looking forward to be a certified tower reader from your class and. From our mind to yours, I hope you learned a lot. Thank you for uh, tuning in to Mind Over Matter. Once again, I'm Justin Pinon, and oh, one last thing, your mind is next.